Tuesday, January 5th, 2010, and you're watching La Sojourn. Today we say goodbye to the nice hotel room we've been in so far. And we are on the road to Houston, Texas. We are beginning our epic journey across Texas. We should be in Houston in about five hours. Um, not sure how long it takes to get across Texas from that, but uh, hopefully we have a lot of cool things to see in the Lone Star State. Louisiana Bayou. We're on this really cool stretch of Highway 10 right now. Um, we are on an elevated highway that is in the middle of a what looks like a, a man-made like channel, like water channel. Um, like it's just the two lane, the two sides of the highway on on pedestals, on columns in the water. We just got back onto the land. Um, all that footage of the water was about 25 miles of the, the Route 10 highway that was just over a bayou, a giant bayou, and it had rivers running perpendicular to it. It was really, really awesome. I had no idea that a section of Route 10 cut straight through the Louisiana bayou. I'm really really happy. I was worried that we wouldn't get to see anything like that. And that's Louisiana that I wanted to see. That is exactly the part of Louisiana that I was hoping to see the most. I was determined to eat delicious crawfish in Louisiana. So we stopped here right before crossing the border. Steamboat Bills is very yummy. Louisiana you're awesome. Quite awesome. We're very sad to leave Louisiana. Yeah. We'll come back though. We like dramatic bridges. Welcome to Texas, y'all. Did you know in Texas that they have different speed limits for day and night? This is our little gas station friend. Hi, baby. Yeah, sit down. Sit. Sit. He sat a minute ago. Oh, he's very friendly. Isn't he cute? Good boy. Now stay away from the car, okay? We gave puppy our leftovers. We have arrived in Houston. And we are now making our way to the first of our mystery attractions. Crystal found some interesting things on the internet, wrote down the address, but didn't write down what they were uh, on purpose. And we are now making our way to the first one of them. I see it, I see it, I see it, there it is. What is it? The what? giant armadillo. Yards, you have reached your destination. And not a lot of people know that. Nice. You guys see it? There it is. The giant armadillo. Cool. Giant armadillo. It appears to be made of polished sheet steel plates. It's a giant armadillo and it's awesome. Yeah, he's awesome. He's very cute. Very cute. Now on to our next mystery attraction. So we have arrived at the water wall, which is the second of our mystery attractions. Here we are approaching the water wall. I just went inside up those stairs and it's uh, very cold and wet in there, but it's very pretty. We at Houston's Giant Saxophone. It's pretty cool and it's made of Volkswagen parts. Yay.
the giant saxophone is located at the Horn Restaurant. The neighborhood this place is in is surprisingly crummy. So, we just saw the last of our four attractions and, um, oh, there's a dog crossing the street. I really hope he does not get hit. Okay, he seems to be going over to that grassy patch. Okay, um, all of today's attractions were brought to you by the wonderful website of roadsideamerica.com. Well, now that we have completed our mystery attractions tour of Houston, um, we are stuck in traffic on our way to Fuddruckers restaurant to meet a friend of mine. One big ass load of birds. So we are now leaving Houston. Uh, very, very special thanks to Corey for uh, buying us dinner. Thanks, Corey. Uh, we will keep in touch. I kind of hope that was him. I think it would be pretty funny if it was him. I was kind of hoping that we could follow him and meet him and, you know, I could get him to do the intro of the next episode. Because while I'm personally not a big fan of his political decisions, it would still be funny to meet him. The way we noticed it was, um, he came up behind us, the SUV, and flashed his high beams at me. So I got over to let him go. And then when he pulled forward, we saw it. So if it was him, I can say that George Bush flashed me. And I can say he drives like a dick. So we've arrived at a rest stop inhabited by several truckers and we're going to crash here for the evening. Um, we've made it about, I don't know, you think almost halfway across Texas? Maybe? We're about an hour and a half past San Antonio. Okay, yeah. So, tomorrow, we're gonna get up, and we're gonna head to Roswell. You're yeah, very pumped. I'm very pumped. Yes, me too. So, uh, good night, and to, to the land of aliens tomorrow we will go. We hanging out with lots of truckers tonight. <laughs>